Season 2 of The Diplomat was recently released, and considering it only had 6 episodes, the showrunners packed it full with a story that was gripping, engaging, entertaining, and most importantly, set up a brand new plot for Season 3 of the show. With it looking like Kate is going to be diving into her most dangerous piece of political play following the end of Season 2, there are so many different stories that could be on the horizon when the show eventually returns. So with that, I thought I'd take a look at all that was out there about Season 3, including the potential release date, and give my theories and predictions on what I think could happen next. So let's get into it. Here is The Diplomat Season 3, Everything We Know. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. The Release Date The main question that's on everybody's mind right now about the show is, is there actually going to be another season that gets released? In recent times, Netflix has become a bit more ruthless with it cancelling shows even when they've set up a cliffhanger at the end of a season. Something which leaves us viewers devastated because we never get resolution. Even though that's the general feeling, it hasn't stopped them in the past and it's something that can become quite concerning when you're several seasons deep into a show. However, there is a positive regarding The Diplomat. It has actually been confirmed that The Diplomat will be getting a third season of the show, which means that we will get answers to what occurred at the end of season 2 and see the repercussions of all of the different stories. The show actually went into production in early October of this year, which means that it's already underway and being worked on, which is great news. When it comes to the release date of the new season, that's something that hasn't actually been confirmed yet. When looking back at the first season of the show, that was released in April of 2023. And then when looking at the second season, that came out in October 2024. So there was around a year and a half's wait between each installment that we were given. That is a fairly common timeline that we've come to expect with TV series on the platform. If anything, that's actually quite generous in today's world. So by looking at the fact that the show is already in production and taking the previous gap in time between seasons into consideration, I would predict that we'll most likely get season 3 of The Diplomat in around a year to a year and a half's time. So any time between the end of 2025 and the spring of 2026. This would allow for the show to be in production, post-production, the marketing of the show, and also the release. So we do have a little while to wait, unfortunately. But hopefully, it'll be worth it, though. The Story with regards to the story, I feel there are going to be a couple of different arcs that we see getting developed on from Season 2. The first is the one that the cliffhanger alluded to during the end of the Season 2 finale. The main story in the season is most likely going to be centered around Grace Penn taking over as President of the United States. This is following the President dying by a heart attack when Hal told them about what Grace Penn was involved in with being responsible for the ordering of the Brits to attack themselves which came at the cost of 43 innocent lives. Kate was obviously gunning for the vice president role, but with Grace now becoming president, I don't think that's going to be the case anymore. The biggest concern for Kate is the fact that Grace will be head of the country when she didn't even want her to be the nuclear czar for the UK because she was concerned over the aggressive approach that she had and the fact that she would have been in control of the nuclear weapons. Whereas now she'll be in charge of pressing the big red button if she wants to. I think Kate is going to try her best to get Grace removed from office. The way that she might look to do that is by going to her former enemy, Prime Minister Trowbridge, and getting him to go against what he said to Grace Penn and keeping everything under wraps about HMS Courageous and actually revealing what occurred. Trowbridge doesn't currently know that Grace Penn was the one that placed the order. He just thinks that there were people on the inside of his government that were going against him. So with Kate revealing that the US ordered the attack along with Margaret Roylin, he might feel the need to turn on Grace and go back on his word. This would most likely mean that Prime Minister Trowbridge would have to give up the very thing that he cares about most, power. He's been reluctant in revealing what happened because he wants to hold on to that very thing. But with Grace having the influence that she does on making Britain attack themselves, that might be something that makes him see the greater good of the nation ahead of his own personal power. If the information got out that Grace Penn was responsible for the killing of 43 people that were on board HMS Courageous, surely her political career would be in tatters whether she was the president or not, so I guess that's something that we'll have to wait and see. I'm also wondering if Grace will look to appoint Kate as her VP, an almost keep your friends close but your enemies closer type of thing. After all, she did say that she was impressed with her. However, I don't think Kate would accept the offer if Grace was the president, as I don't think she agrees with anything that Grace stands for. She's impressed by her and her work ethic, but the conspiring is something that she seems to be dead against and changed her opinion of her. 
So even though HMS Courageous and the explosion outside of the restaurant felt like it was addressed and wrapped up in season two, I feel like it's still gonna be hanging over the characters like a gray cloud in season three, and consequences of the explosions might finally be felt by all of the characters that were involved in trying to cover it up. Outside of the main story, I think we'll continue to see Adra and Stuart potentially struggling with their relationship. I do think they will ultimately end up together though. If they don't, I almost feel like it will be a robbery on the fans as it's very much building towards them being together. If Kate does spend more time in the States, that means that Stuart will probably go with her, which will put even more of a strain on Stuart and Adra. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. As well as that, I also think with the repercussions that Trowbridge will be facing for having a government that was undermining him and causing him to blame other nations for a crime that Britain and the United States committed, I think he will lose his position in government and that might finally see Austin ascend the position of Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Do I think Austin and Kate's romance could be rekindled? Personally, I don't think so. She seems invested in Hal for the first time in a long while. And to be honest, I kind of like the fact that in season two, there wasn't as much personal drama that was unfolding. It was more so focused on the politics, the mystery around the case at hand, and what was happening for the greater good, rather than love, lust, and affairs. The cast. In terms of the characters in the show, there were many that returned from season one for season two, and I think that will also be the case as we move from season two to season three as well. With there not being any major deaths outside of the first episode of season two, I think it's clear to see that Kate will return. And as well as that, Hal, Austin Dennison, Adra, Stuart, Prime Minister Trowbridge, Margaret Roylin, Billy, Pansy, and Francis will all be returning too. Plus, we'll most definitely be seeing Grace Penn at the heart of the show as she looks set to become president of the United States and be at the core of the story. As well as that, I imagine we'll most likely be introduced to a wide array of characters that we're yet to meet as the cover-up of the responsibility of the explosion of HMS Courageous continues to be hidden in plain sight, and the taking over of the presidency looks to be developed even further. The cast often delivers such strong performances in the show, so I imagine any new characters will most likely fit in just fine, as there hasn't been a bad casting so far. Unfortunately for now, that's all that's known about The Diplomat Season 3. I'm sure more information will be released as time draws closer to the release date. I imagine we will get an announcement video soon from Netflix confirming that the show is going to return. So, there you have it. The Diplomat Season 3, everything we know. If you want to see more videos on your favorite TV shows and movies broken down, then click on the card in the top corner. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. What do you think will happen next? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. As always, thanks for tuning into the video and I'll see you in the next one.